Uh, we can track the human evolution story from the, the rise of mammals after the death of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, uh, the rise of mammals, the development of um, uh, particular tetrapods uh, that started to walk upright, apes, um, the various um, evolutionary parting of the ways that we can track um, uh, on a line that lead eventually to the genus Homo and eventually the species Homo sapiens. So within that time, 200,000 years to the present, about 40 or 50,000 years ago, um, uh, comes some great transition, um, 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 some change in human behavior um, you start to see um, art created on cave walls in paintings. Uh, we start to see sculpture. We start to see the beginnings of jewelry and, and other things. So there's this great flowering of creativity. Um, uh, and from that, we, we get a sense that this was the kind of dawn of human consciousness. Now, uh, consciousness itself is open for debate. There's an argument. Um, uh, scientists are kind of more or less agreed uh, that there are other uh, species, other animal species that, that can be said to be conscious. So consciousness is not something that's uniquely human, but our kind of consciousness, of course, is, is very, very different and uh, very well developed. Um, but we can trace that line, but what we can't quite say is how you take a, a brain, um, you know, uh, 1300, 1350 cubic centimeters of uh, material, the consistency of cold porridge, and, and how you, from that, from the way that the neurons interact, how you uh, end up in a situation of the kind of experiences we have as humans uh, uh, and in terms of consciousness. And that's the, the, you know, the explanatory gap. Uh, so are the three, the beginning of the universe, the origin of life, and the origin of human consciousness. We've got ideas, but I wouldn't say that we could be hand on heart saying science has an answer for how that happened.